Hello everyone, this is Pedro from Vitalista with one more video. Continuing our DAB series, I'd like to talk about uh, permissions and how to set up permissions in DABs. So permissions uh, mappings can be done in experiments, jobs, model, pipelines, definitions. So for me, uh, I'm going to give you an example of uh, jobs, which is the most common. Here are the permission levels that you can have. So you can set up permissions to users, service principles, or groups. So it's funny that for each type of uh, resources that you have in Bundle, uh, they are different. Now, if you wanted to know uh, what each one of those permissions give, you go to the ACLs or access control lists. So you can see for jobs, so you can have no permissions, you can do nothing. And then there is the simplest one, which is can view. As you move like to the right, uh, those permissions that the previous permission is accumulated and then some more uh, permissions are added to that row. So that's the first thing that you need to know. In terms of like syntax, so you have, for example, the resources. I'll give you an example in jobs. So you have the job and the permissions go at the level uh, below the job name. And then you can have a either one of those three, username, group name, service principle. These are R, R, R. And for that one, you give the permission level. So which can be one of those here. Another thing important to know is that permissions can be set at a resource, which is the lowest level, or at the top level. It can be either target or at the top, top, top level on your bundle. And one thing that's important to know is that permissions that are set up at the higher level are not overridden. They are combined with any permissions at the higher level. So for example, if I have a permission at a resource level, for example, for this username, I can view, but at the target level, which is above, you have a can run. So those two resources will accumulate, uh, those two users will accumulate can view and can run at the lower level. I think that makes sense. So for example, here, uh, if I do uh, database bundle validate and output in JSON, that's, uh, it's gonna show the accumulates. Okay, this is just a theory. Let's now get our hands dirty and then give you a practical example and all those concepts can solidify. Okay, I'm here at VS Code and then I'm gonna create like a bundle template and from there build with you the permissions and then test and deploy and see for different users how that's going to affect the, your bundle in the workspace. Let's check my profile. Uh, I'm gonna use this workspace here, testDB. First, let's create the bundle. I'm just creating to that profile, which is testDB. So I'm just gonna create like a, my project. I'm gonna call permissions uh, tab. And I'm just gonna get, create a sample notebook. I don't, I'm not going to create uh, live tables and I'm not going to create packages. So it's going to be very, very simple. Uh, DAP, I'm just going to cd into the permissions. DAP, cool. So that's the boilerplate here. So first thing, let's go to my resource, which is a job. Um, and then permissions will be at the same level as the task. So should be at this level here. I'm just gonna write per me, permission with S and then so so and then within here, the first thing that you have to do is the let's do our username. So in my uh, Databricks workspace, I have this email here. I'm just gonna copy and paste which is like my data engineer. And for that, you would need to give a level. And then in my case, I'm going to give uh, can 
I'll give can manage uh, run. So if I go back here for jobs, you can give can manage, can manage run, can view is owner. All right. So first thing, uh, let's validate this bundle. So the bundle is validated. So let's output that to see. So you can see that at my job, this user here can manage run. So let's deploy this bundle. So here in Databricks, I'm logged in as the account admin, which can see everything. So I go to workflows. And that's the only one that I have from that bundle. It was created by this um, account, which is, I'm using the, this account for the token. That's why it's created by this. But if I go to my job and if I scroll down to permissions, you see that this person logged in here or this principal logged in here is the owner. So it can run and the data engineer can manage run. So, and then admins, uh, any admin can manage, right? So I'm not going to log in uh, with the data engineer because you can see that it can manage run. Let's do another thing here, which is go back to my bundle. Let's set up at the dev target, a permission here. So, and then permission here is that at the same level as the workspace. Uh, right, permissions. And then I'm going to give uh, username and the username is data scientist. And let's say that I want data scientist just to view. And let's deploy this. So if I refresh this, I can see that now I have data scientist can view, but I'm logged in as the admin here. I can run, but let's test if the data uh, scientist can view only. So let's open a cognito here. And I'm going to log in. OK, I'm logged in now, as you can see, as a data scientist. And then if I go to workflows, I can see that workflow that was deployed by this uh, principal. But if I go here, I can only view. I cannot run. I cannot do anything. I can just see it. So and then you can see here that my data scientist can view. So now I'm gonna come here to the resources and then at the permission level, I'm just gonna add uh, the data scientist. And as the same as we did for the data engineer, I want that to manage and run. Validate and put the output so you can see. So you can see that um, the dot scientist at the higher level is scan view. But if you go to the permission here at the task, uh, it can run. So let's, and then that's going to override the, not override, it's going to accumulate that one, that can view here. So let's go and deploy this. Now, if I go here, I cannot do anything, but if I refresh, because now it can manage, now you can see that I can run the job. So data science can manage run. All right, that's the, what I'd like to show in this video. I don't want to, it to become too long. Before I go, I just wanted to make sure that uh, at the top level, you can only have can view, can manage, can run. So don't make the mistake to create at the top level, let's say can manage run here, because when it cascade down to the resources, that's gonna give you an error. Just make sure that at top level you have less uh, fine grained uh, permission. The more stringent permissions is given at the higher level and the more um, broad permissions it's given at the resource level because it's, it's a lower level. So that's a, a, a easy way to do. And another thing that I haven't done in this uh, video, just for the sake of the example, ideally you would give permissions to group, not to users. Uh, and then that's gonna be easier for uh, you manage 
uh, in your team rather than having to uh, remove individually. And your bundle can become a little bit polluted with so many people that are accessing the resources. All right, uh, that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, click the bell and like the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.